Kochi was one of Egypt's most powerful rulers. I am Isis, I am a god. An icon whose legacy is cemented in Egyptian history. I would die for Egypt. What would you die for? And her life is the subject of a new docuseries by Netflix titled African Queen's Cleopatra. And she is played by the British actress Adele James. You know what, stepping into the shoes of an iconic role is all at once so exciting and a little bit overwhelming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Big shoes to fill, I would say, but um, it's been in an incredible experience from filming in Morocco uh, to now with the show kind of all over the world, everybody talking about it. It's so exciting and I'm just really excited for people to learn more about this incredible woman. And what did you do to prepare to play Cleopatra? Um, so there was a lot that I already knew about her, but I was very fortunate because we're doing a docudrama. Yeah. Um, when I got the script, uh, there's actually all of the kind of talking heads that appear in the series from the historical experts. Their contributions were already in the script as well. So there was a lot of kind of historical information littered throughout the script that I was learning from. I was only a little girl then. Not the ruler that stands before you now. <laughs> and even before the docuseries was released, just from a trailer, so much controversy happened online and a lot of people were calling for it to even be cancelled because it's played by yourself, a biracial woman. What were your thoughts on that? I was expecting some controversy. I was expecting some people to have something to say about it. But I wasn't expecting the level of it and I think we released one trailer, right? And unfortunately that has exposed some, some quite unwell people. I think you have to be quite unwell to troll <laughs> anybody, mm -hmm. certainly the way that I have been. Um, and that's distressing to go through. But I think fundamentally all I can really say to that issue anymore is this show is a docudrama. There's a documentary element to it. There's expert research. But if people don't want to engage with that research and they don't want to engage with the academic possibility that she might have been of mixed heritage, then they don't have to watch the show. It's just going to be their loss. What would you say to those who are saying it's pushing a particular Afrocentrism narrative? Egypt is part of Africa. It's part of the continent of Africa. And I think the idea that we should try and separate it from the rest of North Africa is, is quite problematic. I really don't see, from an academic standpoint, why, if there's a possibility that she might have been of biracial heritage, she can't be played by an actress of biracial heritage. I imagine her to have curly hair like me and a similar skin colour. According to experts, Cleopatra's race is one of those certainties history took with it. We do not know Cleopatra's race. We do not have any definitive information about whether she was white or whether she was black. And actually, ancient people didn't think in those terms anyway. So it's quite anachronistic to attempt to try and make those claims either way. We know that she was a member of the Ptolemaic dynasty. The Ptolemies were originally Macedonian. So by the time we get to Cleopatra, it's very important to note that there are lots of gaps in the family tree. We do not know who Cleopatra's mother was. So that means we don't know who her maternal grandparents were. And we also don't know who her father's mother was. They were also actually very connected to all of the neighbouring kingdoms. They did marry with royal families from neighbouring kingdoms. The producers of the series said depicting Cleopatra as mixed ethnicity was intentional as it reflects theories about her possible Egyptian ancestry and the multicultural nature of ancient Egypt. For you personally, what did you take from being part of this series and what do you think people are going to take from watching it? I have never felt so powerful <laughs> in all my life. I've never felt so strong um, as I did stepping into this woman's shoes and I've been so excited ever since I got back from Morocco to, to step into that power more and more and just live my life on my terms the way I want to and hopefully make an impact and make a difference. Mm -hmm. um, just a fraction of what she was able to do with nothing that we have. Every woman.